Hey guys, welcome back to Feel the Burn. It has been a minute, and I know that, uh, but I am back. I've been down with some health issues that prevented me from eating hot sauce. Just for a while, uh, past month, I've been testing out the grounds, but my resistance is like nothing, so bear with me, guys. I still have the pallet, but I don't have the heat resistance, but I'm going to be building that back up. So, two sauces today from the very awesome and always good Lucky Dog Hot Sauce. If you guys don't know Scott, uh, he's an awesome human being, uh, awesome sauce maker, and uh, a good buddy of mine. We have two sauces, one of them, Chrome. Check that out. Got Lucky Dog on there. And El Perro Afortunado. So, I'm excited guys, I'm excited to get back into it and review these awesome hot sauces. Well, I'll be right back and I'll get right into it. Alright guys, so before I get into this, it's really important for the overall uh, performance of our channel. I'd like you to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure you join us on Instagram, Mirabella underscore TV. I do a lot of interviews with the makers and I am going to touch base with Scott and see if I can get him on with me. Just have a chat, you know, a little chit chat and uh, find out uh, what makes him tick a little bit uh, for all you guys. Uh, I'm definitely going to get into this now and I decided I'm going to start with Chrome and then move on to El Perro Afortunado and here I go. All right. Okay, cut open. Shake that up real good for you guys here. Gonna give you the little rundown here of the ingredients. Uh, we got mandarin oranges in juice. And that ingredients are mandarin oranges, water, sugar, citric acid, Drake's 1500 pale ale, gluten free. Uh, cider vinegar, carrots, red savina, habanero, mash, habanero pepper, salt, acetic acid, onions, apple sauce, garlic, dried garlic, sea salt, honey, lime juice, spices, horseradish power, uh, powder, and <laughs> power, uh, agave syrup, and mustard flour. So there's a lot going on here. Is this a smell? Oh man. That smells so good. Okay, a real good shake. So you got layers here. A lot of savory, spicy, really yummy layers. Got some decorations in the background. You can see that, guys? My daughter just had her eighth birthday, Mirabella. Gonna pour a spoon. I don't want you to pour here. All right, you got a little chunky. So you got that chunky consistency. Mmm, that smells good. All right, guys, cheers. Let's get ready to feel the burn. <coughs> All right. Get hit with saltiness. Heat comes in strong. So many layers of flavor. That habanero heat is just kicking, pounding. Hmm. Definitely savory. Got that little little layer of saltiness. We got that vinegar. Hmm. What else am I getting in this? Garlic. The horseradish hits you just different. Incredible. I'll give you the rating of this after, but... Mm, that is some good sauce, guys. The burn comes and goes quick. It's just the right balance. Hits you up front and kind of mellows. Gives that all over 
mouth uh, toastiness that habanero does. Excellent blend of sauce though. I'm impressed. I'll be back with the next one. Alright guys, I'm back. El Perro Afortunado Fire Roasted Tomato 5 Pepper Salsa Picante. Now we got roasted tomato, vine ripened fire roasted tomatoes, tomato juice, sea salt, calcium chloride, citric acid, cayenne pepper mash, oh baby, cayenne pepper, salt, acetic acid, orange juice, pasilla chilies, cider vinegar, water, spices, dry roasted garlic, lime juice, dried onion, and granulated garlic. I'm already kind of loving this without even trying it. So let's get this cut open. We're going to give it a good smell. Okay. All right. Some more shaky. That smells like a solid taco sauce. Totally different than the other one. Oh, so good. Definitely getting the notes in there. Savory once again. The notes of the cayenne. I love cayenne pepper. It's there, a good amount. Let's give it a good pour. Smell that on the spoon. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, guys, let's get ready to feel the burn again. Mm, savory. Yeah, the burn was delayed, but it's there. It's the back of the throat. Mm. That's gonna be good on a taco. <clears throat> Ooh, got me. <clears throat> it's stingy. It's not real hot. Little kicks. Um, you got that saltiness, a vinegary note. Mmm, the cayenne peppers in that. Ooh, it's like, it's like my gums, my whole mouth is a hot coal, and it's just smoldering. That is so good. So well executed. Home run, Scott. Really good sauces, both of these. All right. I am going to be back in just a moment. I'm going to put together my rating and uh, see you in a second or two. I'm back guys. Uh, my rating here, um, I put a lot of thought into this as I always do and I owe Scott that respect to really put my whole self into these ratings because they're incredible. Uh, all of his sauces are incredible. You can definitely uh, check out Scott here. It's luckydoghotsauce.com. That is luckydoghotsauce.com. I have that right down here. Incredible stuff. Everything he does is masterful. Um, it's executed exactly a as a condiment should be. They're made to be eaten with food. I, I just like to get that sauce taste though without anything. I will be eating these with food, of course. Um, <clears throat> so we started out with chrome. And I'm gonna get a little taste of it. See if I can catch something else on the second run. Not much. Wow. So this surprised the heck out of me. I did not expect anything this dynamic and amazing, and it is so good. Uh, heat on this comes and goes really fast. I'm going to say it's a two. Um, it's a good pop. Uh, there's a sweetness to this, and... Uh, 
a savor. It's from the Mandarin Oranges. I think there's, yeah, there's even agave in there. It kind of mellows it out. But I'm completely taken aback by the blending of this sauce, that, that savory, sweet, um, it's a party going on in your mouth. So heat on this is a two. Um, flavor is a, a 10. Um, I can't think of a way that I can make this taste any better. In uh, overall, I, I'm gonna give this sauce, I don't give a lot of these, and anybody who's been watching me for a while knows, I'm giving um, Chrome a 10. Um, it's incredible. Now what I would put it on is just about anything that I want to put in hot sauce. Like, I, I can imagine this tasting amazing. Chili, tacos, even if you have just some ground beef and you want to spice it up, a hot dog, go get, go get yourself a bottle. It's incredible. And this was the first time I've tried um, a hopped pale ale hot sauce and it is really good. I give it a 10. And now, put the, as much thought into this one. Let me give it another little taste. Believe it or not, this one stuck with me longer, heat-wise, than the other one did. Mm. So good. Wow. Wow. Okay. Heat on this one. Um, at first, you're getting those taco flavors. You're not thinking about heat. And on the back end, you get this smoldering, long-lasting heat. It sticks with you. It doesn't go away fast, which I like. I'm going to have to say heat on this starts off at a one and a half, and I think it turns into a two and a half to stick with you for a while. Um, now the heat scales on these, this was supposed to be hotter, as you can see the little uh, temperature gauge. Than this one. But I disagree because it kind of sticks with you a bit longer. I think this one's a little bit hotter. So, that's my heat scale. Flavor on this, for, for a taco sauce, this is one of the best taco sauces I've ever tried in my life. Okay? Um, on a taco, this is a 10. On just about anything else, I would consider this a 9. Uh, so we're calling it a 10. As an overall sauce, just because this is so, so taco flavored. I mean, if you smell it, well, maybe even chili, um, wouldn't be bad in it. Um, I'm gonna say overall on this is, I don't wanna take anything away from it because uh, a 10, overall. Um, two tens, uh, absolutely incredible sauce. I, I don't take lightly giving a 10 away, but I'm so in love with the dynamic flavor profile on both of these that I can't give it anything else but a 10. Scott, awesome job. You did a really good job. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Uh, I missed doing this, so uh, happy to have you guys back. Uh, happy Easter. Um, by the time you watch this, it's going to be after Easter, but this is the day before Easter for me. And um, just thank you so much for joining us, guys. I'm Feel the Burn, and you'll be seeing more videos coming out very shortly. Um, thank you, and burn out.